Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I was contacted by Everyday E-Crafts again asking if I wanted to show some more diamond paintings on my channel for you guys. So let's see what I have this time. I did not pick out any diamond paintings. I picked out some other diamond painting items to show you today just to show you that they have a number of different things to do other than just paintings to hang on your wall. So I marked each one with who the company is so that when I do this, I know who they're from. <laughs> All right, so every kit always comes with a standard toolkit. So the green boat, wax, this comes with the tweezers. Not every toolkit comes with the tweezers because um, I don't know, a lot of people don't use them anyhow. Um, but then come with a single placer drill pin. All a beginner would need to complete this project. So what this is, has become very popular these days, is a fidget spinner. I know my grandson has a lot of these. <laughs> I thought, oh, that would be kind of neat. I haven't seen this before. So as you can see, it is double sided. It is covered with that clear plastic and you would just peel it back and you would complete them. Now I do see you get in very close here. I wonder if this comes apart to complete it. Yes, it does. Because I thought, how are you going to get to that center? So you just unscrew it. Then you can get to the center. So let me zoom you in so you can see this better. Okay, so we have our symbols there. And we do have, I believe, is it all all rhinestones? I think so. So this is going to be a very shiny, glittery fidget spinner. And because it's going to be handled a lot, I think this is one particular item that I would seal. I like to use um, Tombow Aqua glue when I seal. Um, I I no longer seal diamond paintings. I used to, but it seems no matter what you use to seal your diamond paintings, it takes away a bit of the super shine of the drills. Um, I found the Tombow glue takes it away the least out of everything that I have tried. So yeah, um, I would definitely seal this one. When I was sealing with the Tombow glue, I did water it down just a bit to make it more liquidy. And um, it sealed the diamond painting much, much easier and much faster, but yet it still sealed it enough. Um, this, however, I think I would use the Tombow glue uh, full strength. And because it is aqua glue, it mixes with water really easily. So again, it is double sided. You would just complete it and then we'd put it back together. So I think I will do this and I will give it to my grandson as a little gift. And these are really, I mean, he has some light up ones. He has some really fancy ones. And it's just a, it's a stress reliever, you know. I don't know if you've ever seen fidget spinners or not. But yeah, that's why they're called fidget. Um, great for kids, actually. Great for adults. Especially those light up ones. Ooh, they're really neat. <laughs> so let's take a look at the drill, as long as I have you zoomed in. If you don't like to crinkle, just mute for a little bit. Oh, these colors are pretty. Looks like we have a rainbow of colors that will be going on this. Oh, yes. So, like I said, there are numbers on there. 
numbers on the drill. So you just match this color to where it says number one on the fidget spinner. So we have this pretty red. Let's look at this side. And these are all rhinestones. And they look really nice. We have this pretty blue, green, yellow. Oh yeah, every color. Oh, this pretty pink and a lighter pink. This is more of like a reddish pink. Like a blue violet. Oh, this light aqua. Love that color. Dark orange. And, oh, big pack of silver. Oh, isn't that going to be pretty? And this will be a project that will not take very long at all. So I am going to be leaving this down here so I can complete it here in the living room. <laughs> you can see it turns very easily. <laughs> It turns on its own. There. <laughs> Probably would fascinate my cats. <laughs> they could just paw at it and turn it. <laughs> All right. So that is very cute. I like that. All right. What do I have next? I have this what is it let's open it and find out so again this is a special drill item all three of these that i picked out are so again standard toolkit we do not get the tweezers in this one but you do get some baggies if you like to kit up in baggies you don't have to have any special storage systems little baggies work fine. We have some little ornaments. There's quite a, oh no, uh, magnets, sorry. Little magnets. My granddaughter loves magnets. These are all Christmas, so you could put them up on your fridge or wherever, so they are single-sided with the magnet on the back. So we have our, let me zoom you in a little bit. We have our, Chris, our Santa Claus. Kind of a Santa, well I don't know what he's doing. Looks like a tree here. I thought he was in a swing at first, but I don't think so. Not sure. Here's a Christmas ornament. Pretty blues in there. And again, there's just numbers on here, and I can see we are going to have some special drills. We have our cute mitten. Our Christmas stocking. And a Christmas bell. So, I want to see how hard it is to get this plastic peeled back. Might uh, want to take a tweezers if you do not have fingernails. So again, you'll just peel back the plastic and then let's see how, oh yeah, it's pretty sticky. Again, because these might be handled more, especially if it's for a child, I think this is something I would also seal so that the drills don't come off. But aren't they cute? Oh, so it is a set of six Christmas magnets. All right, let's take a look at the drills. Oh, and these are already kitted up for you. So you wouldn't have to kit these up into storage containers at all. Oh no, they're not, just the special drills are. I apologize. So let's take a look at the rhinestones first. Or as some people call them, crystals. Here's a very pale, pale pink. That's pretty. Sorry for the glare. 
real pale purple. Oh, my favorite. Love that color purple. And a standard, a regular black, which is unusual because it has the silver backing, but it is not a rhinestone. Beautiful aqua. Some orange, a lighter orange. Pretty green and that red. Our standard Christmas colors and silver. Have to have that, right? All right, and then a whole bunch of special drills. So we have our very small light orange marquee. And these will have the numbers on the baggies to correspond with the numbers on those magnets. So we have some pretty blue marquee. Oh, and these are the iridescent marquee. So there's greens and blues and yellows in these. We have some large round dots that are faceted on the top. So it'll catch extra shine. A couple of big yellow teardrops that are faceted. Probably only need one of these. And I think it is on I think it is on the stocking. Because they usually always give you an extra. Now, okay, they're a little bit bigger than these. So we have some large red rounds, large orange rounds. Last but not least, ooh, we have some pretty silver stars. Oh, those are going to be so fun to do. So yeah, there are all different kinds of diamond painting projects that you can do. Um, like I said, if you're not into just doing diamond paintings, that's why I like to, once in a while, show some other projects that you can do with diamond painting. And these are so nice and simple if you are new to diamond painting. Something like, you know, one of these items would be a great way to start. They're nothing large and maybe a little overwhelming, um, but yet really fun to do. I will leave a link to Everyday E-Crafts down below in the description, as well as these three particular items that I am showing you guys today. And they're nice, thick magnets. Yeah, they don't bend at all, so they're pretty sturdy. I like them. All right, last I have some Christmas cards. I always give my four kids and their significant others Christmas cards that I hand out to them on Christmas morning um, along with their presents. But you do get an envelope with each one so you can also mail these. All right, where do you get in with these? There we go. Another standard toolkit with a few baggies or drills, of course. And here we have our envelopes and our cards. So they are blank in the inside, so you can personalize them. A lot of times you just get a set of four. I think there are eight in here. Yes. So, which is perfect. My four kids and their four spouses and one fiance <laughs> so 
here we have the first one. So this is the front of the card. And then you just fold it in half and of course stick it in the envelope. So we have this adorable snowman. And again, you'll just peel back the plastic. Ooh, very nice and sticky. These I do not seal. I haven't sealed them in the past. This wasn't quite cut out completely. <laughs> but yes, we have our snowman. So then this is the back of the card. So you can personalize the back if you would like. Maybe you're a stamper and you'd like to put something in here. Or, I know some people like to write Christmas letters yet. Could put that inside. Here we have our Christmas tree. That's pretty. Our stocking. These are really cute. These are different than what I have had in the past, which I really liked. I didn't want to give them the same kind of cards. <laughs> Christmas bells. Of course, we have to have Santa. Again, we have some extra plastic here. I'm just going to leave it on. Actually, it makes it nice to uh, pull off. <laughs> oh, this is different. That is cute. We got a hot air balloon with Santa and the reindeer in there. <laughs> That's cute. Our polar bear with the snowman on him. So the backgrounds are not done on these. These are called partials. So you only diamond paint just the main uh, image. The background is all painted on. So again, these do not take long at all. This one has a few more drills to it. We have Santa in a, not a, well, it's a different looking sleigh, isn't it? It has wheels. <laughs> Looks like a little uh, golf cart. <laughs> and again, the back. They're all different. They're so cute. Like I said, very different than what I have done in the past. Oh, they're adorable. I love it. And there's that first one. That is so cute. All right, let's look at the drills. Whoops, throw that over there. All right, how do we get into this one? There we go. So again, we're gonna have standard drills, not rhinestones, but then we do have some special drills in here too. Ooh, big pack of red. Let's zoom you back in. Whole bunch of white. Little hitchhiker there. <laughs> big pack of red. Oh, here's an AB one. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Has an extra shimmery, almost like a mother of pearl kind of look to them. So they really pop out on a diamond painting. Those are going to be pretty on these cards. I don't know if it's going to maybe be in like the snow or the snowman. I'm not sure. There's a darker red. Some brown. Big pack of green. Another one. Yellow. Orange. Like a dark, dark orange. Purple. Ooh, and that pretty blue. Love that color. And then the special drills. So we have these that I like to call sand dollars because <laughs> they have a pattern in the middle. So they're uh, kind of like ABs because they're iridescent rounds. We have our gold stars. Some big round gold. Wow, there's a lot of special drills. Smaller blue rounds. Here's another AB. 
white rounds. These are so pretty when they're on. Mm. Some real small red rounds. And last but not least, some real small gold rounds. All these are going to be so cute. Love it. So again, all three of these are going to be staying downstairs. These are so, so easy to do um, downstairs in my chair. You don't need a light pad or anything to do these. It wouldn't shine through the cardboard anyhow. <laughs> so yeah, so much fun. I love doing these. Love, love these small projects in between doing my large diamond paintings upstairs. Or, I should say, while I'm doing large diamond paintings upstairs and just need to take a break. Because <laughs> these are just fast projects and you feel like you've accomplished something. <laughs> okay, let's try to get this back in the packaging. So again, I will leave a link to everything down below in the description. Um, Everyday E-Crafts has just thousands of diamond paintings. Any kind of subject you could possibly be interested in, as well as lots of other projects to do. It keeps sticking. There we go. But I know if I don't put it back in its wrapping, I'm going to lose something. There. So, I could start on these in about a month or so. Alright, so again, we have our Christmas cards, our magnets, and our fidget spinner. So, lots of fun Christmas projects to do. So thank you so much to Everyday E-Crafts for sending these to me to show on my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some additional diamond painting projects that you can do. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.